One word. Cybertruck. So you guys have all seen the videos of people um, smashing carrots or cutting carrots with the Cybertruck lid. Check it out. I've changed. You got that. You got that. The Tesla Frunk. The test o Frunk. Oh, uh, just chopped it. Just like that. That is gone. That is gone. <laughs> okay, and then we had this guy. Well, the Tesla Cybertruck cut off my finger. I don't know if you guys saw the viral video online where someone put a carrot here and sliced the carrot straight in half. Let's see if it would do the same to my finger. Since I don't actually want to cut off my real finger, I have a super realistic human hand that has bones and meat. It should give us a good example of whether or not it actually would. In my experience, carrots are way weaker than a human hand. I have a lot of experience with that now. So let's see if this works. I'm gonna put the thumb in there, the thickest of the bones here. Three, two, one. <gasps> the thumb broke clean off. Oh, oh my wow. God. This thing didn't even flinch. Now, some guy actually put his real finger in there. Everybody's been waiting for this, the finger, without further ado. Oh, Ooh, and it's still closing too. Oh, still hey, closing. man. See that this, again. The finger, without further ado. Boom. <sighs> Why would yep. somebody want to? I, mean, I guess it's for the. Been waiting for this. It's the for the talk. It's all for ado. the cause. Just watch where you put your appendages. And that's the moral of this story. Yeah. Shout out to Cybertruck. Maybe Tesla should have done that, but I don't know why a normal Joe is going to sacrifice his appendages for any of that. Yeah, the guy's name, according to um, New York Post, this guy's name is uh, Jeremy. Judkins. So he wanted the fame and now he's getting it. So this is him in the corner with his finger caught where it shouldn't be. Did he get it out? Yeah. I guess the the door finally the sensor finally activated because it felt him moving. So if he didn't put his other fingers and try to wiggle it loose, it would have kept on going down and probably cut it like we've seen all those other videos do. Did it break his finger? Uh it didn't really say. It said that he came back, came out with his finger still intact. So that's good. That's the guy. So it, if it would have, uh, if he didn't stop it, it would have probably just severed it, just clean off. Yeah. Well, hopefully none of you guys are going to try to do any of those kind of things because uh, that's something Tesla needs to work out on its own self. It's a cyber truck, which is perfect for Cytopia in twenty thirty. Hopefully you guys are ready for the incoming, you know, I don't even want to call it the great reset. I, I want to call it what it is. It's a small reset. It's Cytopia. It, it's where it's not a utopia. It's not a dystopia. It's a Cytopia where the world is going to be controlled by cybernetics, by robots, by digitalization. It's giving, it's giving... Um, fairness and equality. Yeah, it's giving Fahrenheit 351 where they burn all the books. <laughs> but, what would you need them for? Well, yeah, that's the whole goal is that you don't need them because if you don't have them, then you can control the masses. That's the whole point. It's the Orwellian nightmare. <laughs>